a swan bathed in golden sunshine. This one has been named Brian by the owners of a private lake. And what a joy to see Brian sailing down the water. Photographing kingfishers is never easy. One minute you're trying to get high quality shots while they sit on a branch and the next they're speeding like a blue bullet and you need to be at five thousandth of a second minimum just to catch them. But occasionally it works out. You get some nice shots like this one at Withermead Nature Reserve. Absolutely no doubt, however, that the highlight of my January was the chance to photograph snowy owls in Massachusetts. These juggernauts of the owl family, due to their heavy feathering to keep out Arctic temperatures, are the most stunning sights. They fly rarely, sitting often for hours on end, just snoozing and watching the world go by. And it took me three and a half hours just to catch this bird twice. While some wildlife photography is about being premeditated, much of it is about being reactive. Like this fox one frosty morning, or this kestrel flying away with a rodent for breakfast as the sun rose over Southscope. One bonus of cold frosty mornings is the chance to photograph barn owls at sunrise. These magical creatures glide effortlessly over the long grass and then stoop down to pounce on their prey. Although it must be said that when they take off, they do look a little bit like a guy wearing baggy trousers. I don't know what you think. Occasionally, birds stray into this country from other lands. This is a Siberian leaf palace warbler, and very, very rare. I was fortunate enough to get to go take some pictures of one, and some squirrels on the way home. Birds need to keep their feathers in tip-top condition. After all, they're used for flight, insulation and waterproofing. And watching Brian go through his meticulous routine every morning is just amazing. Preen oil is taken from underneath the tail feathers and distributed across every feather as it's cleaned immaculately. As we head towards spring, it's been another fabulous month and despite having to dodge the occasional buzzard excrement, Brian will be keeping his eye on me, but you can be sure that I'll be keeping my eye on him too. Thanks for watching.